Hello guys and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. Now this is a new series where in Simple Rockets 2. I was going to do this a lot different where it was going to be kind of um, SpaceX style videos for every single mission and it was all going to be in real time and everything like that but I've soon realised how much work that is going to entail and I just don't have the time for that sort of thing so I've decided to just go with it with normal style videos where it's a lot easier to make and yeah it's just going to be a lot of fun so in this series what it's going to be all about is just about colonising the solar system in Simple Rockets 2 now this is going to be really hard because I'm not very good at designing parts and rockets and stuff so that's kind of my weakness so if you guys want to get involved and design me some you know, space bases, um, space station modules, things like that. And please do and join the Discord and just send us them. I'll make a new channel in the Discord for um, for this series, just just so you can send parts that you'd like to see in the series. So yeah, and if you haven't already. Apparently YouTube says 90% of you haven't subscribed, so please do subscribe, and that will be really appreciated. We are trying to hit a thousand subscribers before New Year, it's entirely possible, hopefully. So please do get subscribing, and I'm so thankful for the 800 subscribers, that is, we have rocketed up this year, it's just gone totally crazy. So anyway, to the mission on hand. This mission is kind of like a SpaceX one because I've designed my own mic take on a Falcon 9 but it's not going to it's not going to be a boost back or anything like that so yeah this one what I've got in the payload is actually three relay satellites so first things first before we venture out and everything I want to get some satellites set up because we're going to pretend a bit like KSP where um, you need communication to be able to have functional rockets so that's what I'm going off and I'm going to create some sort of satellite relay now I didn't calculate the you know the distance I have to be to get them exactly th exactly is like a three-way pie kind of thing around the planet but I got them close enough and that'll do for me nice little shot of the fair and separation there and then we'll finally see we might finally see the satellites I'm kind of going for these onboard views because like I say I was going to record this as a space X style video but that's not going to happen so yeah we're just going with this so anyway mission on hand what's going on now we're getting rid of our first stage that is going to land back on the planet which you will actually see now after this burn is finished to get in orbit on the second stage so you see this now and there we go we've getting the first stage into orb well kind of on the track to orbit so we'll go back and land that second that first stage Right, so here we are back at the first stage, right where we left off, and we're going to do kind of a slow burn. I had less fuel in here than I thought I would have liked to have had, so we're just going to burn back a little bit. We've got plenty of RCS in this, so it turns on a dime, which is great. But I do want to slow it down. Obviously, I've had to go back and relaunch and everything to be able to... <laughs> land this first stage that's the annoying part about simple rockets too the engines don't seem to burn once you switch vessel which is pretty annoying but um it should be fine and there we go we've ended that we have not got a lot of fuel left but we have parachutes on this stage so that is pretty handy so what i'm going to do i'm just going to time warp this over speed this footage up because it is a very long process 
So we'll just go for a four times time warp on this. Now I am actually doing this video post commentary because again I keep seeing it. I was going to do this like a SpaceX series, but they just I just don't have the time for that. So I am actually just recording over the edited footage, but I'm sure you guys will still enjoy and be pleased that I'm back on the scene because I have been very ill and uh, just not with it to make videos and there we go I actually did start a spin because with that empty on fuel that there was just no weight at the bottom but I just yanked the parachute and then began a very slow stall, uh, fall from 12,000 meters which was agonizing really agonizing to watch So I think we'll just skip this bit <laughs> because I don't think you just want to watch like four minutes of it. That's in four times speed actually coming down to land. So I think we'll just skip that. So here we've go. We've skipped forward a little bit. The landing legs come down, and we're going to use that tiny little amount of fuel to just slow it a bit faster. Because I can't remember what the physics are like in the water. I think. No matter what, you survive it pretty much. But um, yeah, it's best to get them engines running and just get that little bit of speed down. And there we go, coming in for a nice water reflection there. And straight into the ocean and land on the bottom of the very shallow sea. <laughs> right. So, back with the main event. So, what I'm doing now is just going, this is times 4 speed again, just to speed things up, because this does take a while to do. So, we're just going to the um, Apple Apps here, and I actually left this in real time, because I wanted it to obviously be a real time series, I left it all in real time. But, um, yeah, obviously, I don't know how the logistics would work. See, if I was going to Mars, it would literally, I'd have to upload the next, the last part of that video, like, two years' time, in real time. So, I don't know. I don't know how I would work it. And it was just going to take a lot of, a lot of hours of editing. Like, I started editing this video in four hours and then that's when I decided that it wasn't really necessarily a good idea so I just skipped that <laughs> but anyway but anyway back to the main event right so here we are just up in the orbit to about a thousand kilometers up so then we can leave this in sort of a centric orbit Detach the first one, and then once we get Apple Apps, we can go on to the next satellite. Raise that one up to circularize again. Kind of thing. You'll see what I mean in this video. I didn't work out the coordinates very well, though. So, it's kind of... Um, they're not really every third of the orbit. Which I would like to have, to have been. But I tried the new beacon light on there as well. On these little satellites. And I don't. I don't see. I, I, I couldn't really get it to work. It's meant to. Strobe steady. But it, it, it just doesn't strobe. It's just a red light. So I don't know what I did wrong there. And also these probes have no. gyroscope so they can't really stabilize themselves I've got to use time warp to kind of stabilize them or the engine once it does its burn so you can see I'm switching to the next one up and it to a thousand kilometers there and then doing the burn on that one which I was hoping would be a third round the planet but they're going to be spaced out enough where it's it's okay it will be okay 
I'm sure it will. Right, so here we go again on the last one. And then setting this one up to circularize again, circularize. And as you can see, this last one, the spacing is really messed up. But, you know, it's all role play in this series, and I'm going to pretend that they can get signal pretty much all the time. <laughs> I'm also going to set up some polar satellites as well, I think, in the next one. That'll be pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining. And if you've got some ideas for the colonisation one, please do leave them in the comments and do subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for joining us in this kind of quick episode. But there's a lot more to come and I'm so excited. So I'll see you in the next one guys and thanks for watching.